Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss one type of OSPF troubleshooting. So see on the screen, I have console of R1, R2 and R3. Guys, this is my topology. In my topology, there are three routers, router 1, router 2 and router 3. And I have console of all routers, router 1, router 2 and router 3. And guys, in the console of router 1, I am getting some log messages. And you can see what is the log message. Log message is adjacency forced to reset, right? So on the tunnel one interface, neighborship is uh, going from init to down. So actually my OSPF neighborship is flapping between R1 and R2 as well as between R1 and R3. So you can see I'm getting this log message from 3.3.3 .3 as well as from 2.2.2. 2.2.2 is router 2. 2.2.2 is router ID of router 2. 3.3.3 .3 is OSPF router ID of router 3 and 1.1.1.1 is the OSPF router ID of router 1 and guys this is underlay network right I am going to tell you about the overlay network also like how overlay network look like over here and on the overlay network I am running this subnet right and then we are running OSPF there okay so as you can see in the topology I have three branches or you can say three sites let's say this is side 1 this is side 2 and this is side Three. to make communication possible between three private network or th between three branches through public what we need guys we need to configure the VPN right we need to configure overlay network over here so my overlay network is like this here on router number one we are configuring multi point GRE and then we have here GRE like this right this is my overlay network right so you can see all branches are connected through this VPN this VPN network this virtual private network and on this overlay network we are running this subnet 192.168.10.0 slash 24 I am running dot 1 IP address over here dot 2 IP address over here and dot 3 IP address over here on router number 3 and all tunnels IP address are reachable with each other right but OSPF neighborship is flapping like there should be OSPF neighborship between dot 1 and dot 2 as well as between dot 1 and dot 3 right but as you can see here log message on router number one router one is getting log, log message from 2.2.2 uh, .2 from router number two that adjacency force reset and from the router number three as well so why router one is getting this log message what is the meaning of this log message and how to troubleshoot it we are going to discuss guys in this video fine so make sure you will watch this video till the end if you want to learn this troubleshooting now guys to understand this like why we are getting adjacency force to reset message in the console of router one you have to understand the types of network in ospf so guys like this is my network right this is my overlay network correct so this is which type of network it is which type of network this is this is hub and spoke topology right which type of topology is hub and spoke this is my hub router and this is let's say spoke one this is a spoke two and guys in hub and spoke topology network type should be what network type should be point to multi point or it can be point to multi point non broadcast only these two types of network you can configure in hub and spoke topology as uh, this is hub and spoke topology network type can be either point to multi point or network type can be point to multi point non broadcast but by default OSPF network type on the tunnel interface is what point to point by default OSPF network type on the tunnel interface is point to point like if you are enabling OSPF on the loopback interface network type is going to be what loopback if you are enabling OSPF on Ethernet interface right OSPF network type is going to be what broadcast if you are enabling OSPF on the serial link network type is going to be what point to point in the same way if you are enabling if you are running OSPF on the tunnel interface network type will be point to point by default so here as a network engineer you need to change the network type because you know the topology your topology is hub and spoke topology so here network types can be point to point or it can be point to multi point non broadcast point to multi point or point to multi point non broadcast but by default here if you will check network type let's say on router number one I'm running one command to check the network type on tunnel interface so IPOSPF interface tunnel 
one and then we can say include network type show me the network type only so what is network type guys over here point two point so this is problem right network type should be what point to multi point or point to multi point not broadcast so this is the reason why you are getting this log message right on order number two also you can verify the network type so ip ospf interface tunnel one and then we can say what include network type so network type here also you can see what point two point on order number three also so ip ospf interface tunnel one and then i can say include network type so network type over here is also what point to point so by default this is by default behavior of ospf on tunnel interface right so on all tunnel interface we need to change ospf network type so let me do it on router number one first go to interface tunnel one and then before that if you want to verify the tunnel interface configuration guys you can run this command so run interface tunnel one so you can see the tunnel interface configuration of router one right let me copy it and i am going to paste it over here just to show you so see on this tunnel interface what command i am running what's command i am running guys first command is i'm assigning one ip address over here that is dot one 192.168.10.1 this is submit mask then uh, i have enabled the nhrp protocol i have enabled the ospf over here this is tunnel source and tunnel mode is multi-point gre in the same way if you want to verify the tunnel configuration on daughter number two so you can see on daughter number two so ip ospf uh so ip run so run interface tunnel one so this is tunnel one configuration on daughter number two copy it and let me paste here and same configuration is there on daughter number three also guys difference is only the ip address right ip address on the tunnel interface so here ip address is 10.2 ip nhrp map we have mapped the nbma address with tunnel ip address remote tunnel ip address we have enabled the nhrp protocol uh, we have defined the nhs ip address 192.168.10.1 as my router one is hub router we have enabled the ospf then and then we have defined the tunnel source tunnel destination if we are defining the tunnel destination that means what it is a point to gre tunnel you can say it is gre tunnel right same configuration is there on router number three also and network type is by default point to point so i need to change the network type over here let's begin from router number one on router number one go to interface tunnel one and say ip osp up network what network i can configure point to multi point or point to multi point non-broadcast this one fine so for now i am running this network type point to multi point I need to do same thing on router number two and see guys after running this command on tunnel interface now i am not getting any log message right getting my point and now if you will check so ip ospf neighbor see neighbor ship is down why neighbor ship is down if you will debug ip ospf hello so this order is still sending hello message to their both neighbor to 3.3.3 and to 2.2.2 to receiving hello message from both neighbor and is sending as well hello message but here network type is mismatch mismatch hello parameter from 192.168.10.2 mismatch hello parameter from 192.168.10.3 so why hello parameters is mismatching guys because network type on order number one is point to multi point and network type on order two and order three is what point to point so i need to change the network type on order number two also so let me configure network type point to multi point on r2 as well so ip ospf network point to multi point and now i am expecting ospf neighborship between r1 and r2 and you can see this log message now again on order number one if you will run command so ip ospf neighbor you can see you have no neighborship with 2.2.2 same way on order number three also i need to change the network type so interface tunnel one and say ip ospf network what point two multi point and now i am expecting ospf neighborship here as well yes you can see we have ospf neighborship now on order number one let me check so ip ospf neighbor so yes we have neighborship with 2.2.2 and 3.3.3 correct 
on which interface on internal interface right the address is this one date time full why we, we don't have dr and vdr guys here because dr and vdr is not required in mul point to multi point network right and priority over here is what zero fine and so ip route ospf am i learning any route no till now i am not learning any you know lan prefixes so actually the reason is what so ip ospf interface brief we have not enable ospf on the lan interface so now i am going to enable ospf on lan interface also like go to interface f0/0 and say ip ospf 1 area 0 go to router number 2 interface f0/0 ip ospf 1 area 0 and then go to router number 3 interface f0/0 say ip ospf 1 area 0 now we have enabled the ospf on lan interfaces as well so now if you will run command here so ip ospf interface brief you can see ospf is running on f0/0 as well and on the interface as well and now guys let me verify the routing table so ip dot ospf so yes this time you can see i am learning the tan network 10.1.1.0/24 which is lan connected with router number 1 with the hub router and 20.1.1.0 which is lan connected to router number and now I can verify the connectivity as well from the router number one. I am going to check the connectivity ping 20.1.1.1 from the source 10.1.1.1. So, yes, you can see ping is working from the router number two ping 10.1.1.1 and say source 20.1.1.1. Yes, ping is working right. And I can ping the spoke two as well, like 30.1.1.1 and source 10.1.1.1 source sorry 20.1.1.1 yes ping is working if you will trace root 20.30.1.1.1 and source 20.1.1.1 say numeric yes you can see traffic is going via what hub router traffic is going via hub router as this is hub and spoke topology if this is full mesh topology guys then network type should be what then network type can be broadcast or non broadcast and again they are again dr and bdr is required give me a point okay so hope now it is clear to you guys what is the meaning of adjacency force to reset generally you will get this error message on the whenever you are running ospf over the dm vpn and network type is incorrect in that scenario you will get this log message and hope now you can troubleshoot this type of problem in real time as well now guys if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today